Hello everyone. Today we will see the deflection of the beam. As we have already seen the bending moment equation. From that also you might have seen how the beam, beam will deflect and in this chapter we will see what is the relation between the load application deflection slope of the beam clear so i will just go through the simple equation that is m by i sigma by y equal to e by r clear so this is nothing but it's an radius of curvature of that beam when a force or bending moment is applied now here if i consider this equation m by i equal to e by r then from this equation i can write radius of curvature that will be equal to i e divided by m clear now if you see this entire equation then you will find that moment of inertia it will remain constant for different shape if you consider the same material then modulus of elasticity it will remain same and the applied moment of moment if it is constant then the radius of curvature it will be the constant value clear so r will be remains constant if beam subjected to the constant bending moment so here this one if beam subjected to constant bending moment then the value of radius of curvature it will remain same so today we will see the deflection of beam now to understand the deflection of beam here i have considered one beam let's say this is beam a and b this one clear now when the moment is applied constant moment, bending moment is applied this particular bc beam so here at the center i will consider the point c mm. clear after that what will happen this beam ab will get deflected so deflection i will draw here so this will the deflection next point i will get that will be the c dash and deflection will be the y clear so this y is nothing but c c dash distance now if i want to evaluate the radius of curvature for this deflection then i will draw the circle so let's say this is the origin then if i consider a o distance then that will be the radius of curvature or that will be equal to ob so that will be the radius of curvature so you just observe this curve only a c dash b so this will be the deflection and if you draw a circle then the radius of that circle is nothing but radius of curvature or radius of deflection of the beam now if you observe this angle if i draw a tangent to this particular curve or we can say to this circle if you draw a tangent to this circle then we can say that it will have an angle clear so let's say this is an angle theta or we can say slope clear so here i will define the theta i think in previous equation that is m by i equal to sigma by y equal to e by r all consider r clear now here i will consider theta is nothing but slope of beam slope of beam at the end a clear so at the end a now if you consider the curve here i am considering the deflection of beam let's say this is a b so maximum slope slope will be at a or at b if you observe over here at the center clear at the center if you consider the slope then slope will be zero at the center 
clear so that this slope is nothing but the angle made by the tangent at a with the beam ab clear so here you might see the this deflection is lar however if you consider the practical application in practical practical application what will be the theta as you if you consider any beam in a construction site then we can say deflection is negligible then definitely the slope value is very very less or we can say it's having a small quantity clear even though i am showing over here it's just to understand clear otherwise the value of this slope in practical it will be very very less clear i hope you understand the concept of the slope now let's move further and you will get some derivation which is related to the deflection and slope of the beam okay so now what i will do i will consider this triangle acc dash clear so i will redraw over here acc dash let's say this is x and y and this is nothing but theta clear now for that purpose from this triangle i can write tan theta it will be equal to del y divided by del x clear so where theta will be in a radian simple now here if you observe the length of entire beam is l so if i draw a b the entire length is l but at center if i have consider the c point so this will become l by 2 and this will become l by 2 so i can write ac is equal to bc equal to l by 2 simple now here again i will draw another line so from the circle it also visible let's say this is the d point let's say this is c dash so here just observe d c dash so this is one of the chord in circle and ab is one of the chord clear so from geometry of circle or we can we can say that from the principle of intersecting chord theorem so here there are two chords are there ab and dc in the circle this is ab and cd which is meeting at right angle so i can write ac into cb ac into cb that will be equal to dc into cc dash clear so this intersecting at the c so i can divide ab and cd at center c clear so what is next we need to just put the value for ac and cb so as we already explain over here ac is nothing but l by 2 cb is nothing but l by 2 now what is dc how we can write in terms of r because we need uh, sorry we need to evaluate the radius of curvature so we will write dc and cc dash in terms of r so let me know d c dash this value is nothing but 2 r or we can say diameter clear so c d c dash i can write 2 r but what we want we want c d clear so we have c c dash that is equal to y here if you observe c to c dash distance is y so i can write d c that will be 2r minus y clear so here i will write 2r minus y into c c dash it is y clear so from this i can get l raised to 4 divided sorry 
L square L into L L square divided by 4 equal to 2 y r minus y square clear now as we already seen that for practical application practical application y is small clear as y is small then we will get y square is very negligible or we can say minimum so what we will do we will neglect this y square then i can write l square divided by 4 that will be equal to 2y r or in terms of y if i write y equal to l square this 2r will taken in that side so 2 into 4 8 r so this will be the deflection deflection of b clear now we will use same equation which i have already seen that is m by i equal to sigma by y equal to e by r if i want the value of r then i can rewrite this equation e by i divided by m just put this value in this equation clear so i will get deflection of beam in terms of y that will be the l square divided by 8 into instead of r i will write ei divided by m or you can say that it will be the l square m l square divided by ei into 8 clear so this is nothing but the deflection of the beam simple so most of the times these values will be given in the problem statement that is moment length of the beam or loss of elasticity and we can evaluate the moment of inertia so if you observe this is the deflection we can say at the center clear now again oh, i hope you understood this concept so i will just it is about portion because again I want to explain from the figure I hope this figure is visible again now here if you consider this is theta then can I consider this is 90 minus theta as this AO and AC are perpendicular to each other so this angle is 90 so here I can consider 90 minus theta now again this AC and AO making angle of 90 so can I consider this is theta yes clear so I will redraw the triangle here ACO and this is theta clear now again I can write sin theta from this equation it is equal to ac divided by ao clear now what is the value for ac in terms of length that is l by 2 and what is ao ao is nothing but r clear again here if you consider theta is very small so i can write in terms of theta that will be l by 2 r now remember the value of theta in radian clear now if you put the value of r which we already taken okay so value of r is e i divided by m so i will rewrite theta is equal to l by 2 into e i divided by m so I can write this equation ML divided by 2 EI. So this is the equation for the slope of beam. Clear? So above equation gives the slope of the deflection at A 
or at B at A or at B that is the maximum depletion it will occur over here clear I hope you understood the slope and deflection deflection is L square divided by sorry ml square divided by ml square divided by 8 ei 8 ei clear so this is the deflection of beam at center clear so from this we have learned the deflection and slope of the beam in next lecture we will see what is the relation between the slope deflection and radius of curvature thank you